Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah, uh, someone was just... Yeah, it was some hair stuff in the way. Holy shit, Donald got a magical cape! Anyway, yeah, so this here is... Here comes a pretty cool glitch. Uh, if you time your jump... You can do it like this. <laughs> Whoa! That is nice. I usually never hit that, so... It was pretty good. <laughs> ah. Alright, so what is this game? Yeah, this is uh, World of Illusion. Yeah, and usually, it's usually a, you will have to jump the Genesis. on. It's nice. On, you can uh, play as Mickey or Donald, and they have different different sages. I guess you can play two player as well. Yes, you can play two player, and there are some uh, there are some uh, changes when you play two player as well. If I recall, you mainly go through Mickey's path when you play two player. They have different paths. Mick and Donald oh. have slightly different levels. I'm actually levels pretty worried about this run. Because uh, I haven't... I usually play Mickey. And uh, Donald has some... Uh, pretty nasty stages. Uh, especially the raft. Oh god. Uh, I know exactly what you mean. His run of anim animation is amazing. Yeah. This game has a lot of great animation. So, who's the developer? Who is the developer? Is it a Capcom game or...? They made like all the good Disney games in the Super ah. Nintendo days. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's always cool to pull up some glitches. That particular one is maybe not a huge time saver, but... It's a bit... Donald's animations in this game are fantastic. What? You don't take damage from the spider? No. It's, it's just... Black it just creates the platform. He should kill you. This boss takes five hits and he's dead, and you can only hit him twice per pass. Yeah, uh, if I hit him, he can hit me. And now I'm just gonna take a chance that he'll appear top left. Which he didn't, but it's okay. So the story is basically, uh, Mickey and Donald is trapped in a magical realm and they need to defeat bosses in order to learn new magics. And uh, from that first boss you learn the power of carpet ride. I don't... Yeah, this yeah, is I don't the only time you can actually use the carpet. I don't <laughs> think you ever use a power twice. Actually you can use the um, uh, uh, Alakazam for the open doors thing. Several oh times. yeah, that's one. And this is one of the hardest parts of the game, because uh, you can fall off this raft uh, even if you stand on it and you stand still, because physics are just made that way. And the music is astounding. Yeah, that was my bad. Oops. You see? <laughs> that one is particularly hard. Okay. 
that's it. sounds like a real piano. We fight the Wheel of Fortune. Actually, it's a dragon. Oh, oh that's cool. Well, it wasn't a very impressive dragon. It's... This is all it does. Uh, it, it, this is not a really hard boss. That's it. And now you learn the power of bubbles. Can it even attack you? He can, if you don't hit him right away. You shoot a fireball. All bosses in this game look uh, looks ridiculous, ridiculously easy. Because you can pretty much kill them before they attack you. Platformer stage, an outer scroller, a flying stage, and a swimming stage. Yep. This is like 16 games in one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a nice variation in gameplay. This stage is actually pretty hard because it's very easy to lose momentum when you're in the bubble and then you will pretty much crawl. Yeah, Don's too fat, he can't go through there. So he has to go uh, the other way around. is amazing. So what is Mickey's power? Donald uses that cloak thing. What does Mickey do? They have the same uh, same attack. Aww. Oh. This is a that can that end really badly. This is a stage that Mickey doesn't get. Mickey doesn't get anything. It's not smart like Donald. So, um, the middle of every stage is unique for each character. And if you play co-op, there's another stage. So this is the same for all characters. Kind of cool gimmick, actually. He just turned a shark into a shrimp. If Donald was Lara Croft, that would be very sexistic. I think most of uh, you who play this game uh, had troubles with this boss. Because this is a hard boss if you don't know the pattern. It's really hard. 
but it's also very predictable. Why is he eating the floor? What did we get? And you can you can trigger the, um, this event by going to the right instead of going to the left. I don't want to fall in there. Uh, you, you you don't want that um, uh, that bag of uh, question mark thingy because it's um, it's a firework which will stop the game for 10 seconds and kill on en enemies on screen. So you kind of have to avoid it. And this is my favorite part of the game. Oh. Everything's made out of sweets. Woo, can I have? I thought I dropped it there. Oh, I missed the quick kill. That's bad. She's so sweet. And now you get the power to turn cards into bridges. And it's gonna be interesting because I'm very low on health here. And uh, most enemies in this stage you can't kill in, you can't kill them in um, one hit, so you pretty much have to take damage. And you got the power of manipulation. Sorry? What sort of magic is that? I don't know. Alakazam. <laughs> You're forcing people to turn into bridges for you. Yeah. Wouldn't you if you could? <laughs> that was a hard puzzle. Now I'm actually a bit worried because I don't think I have... Um uh, enough life to do this properly. Those colors. Well, it's good at being amazed because I'm totally lost. Going back down again. 
this is good level design. I'm gonna play it safe here. Actually, I'm gonna go for the cake. No one walks in the middle. This is magic. I don't understand anything. Oh. On this enemy, it's faster to take damage because you still need to go through these three guys. And those enemies, you can't be sure to kill in one hit. Or two for that matter. They're totally random. That's not that bad, actually. In all my practice runs, runs I've never gotten past that guy without dying. And now he's pretty. dead. Time! What kind of final boss was that? <laughs>